what is up y'all it is me tasha c and if you're watching on youtube it is tasha c tv if you're looking at the logo it will stand still artwork on my face the artwork i use for my uh, podcast and uh if not if you're listening to my podcast which is shout out to speaker because that's the first you know i'm using their software to record this lovely show we all hear my lovely voice and if you know there's the platforms which are usually listed you know, I'm on CastBox, uh, Stigler, Stigler, Stitcher, <laughs> oh Lord, y'all know me, my uh, pronunciation, Our Heart Radio, of course, Apple, the iTunes, you know, podcast as well, uh, Google Podcast, um, blah, 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 uh, Podcast Addict, um, where, uh, where else, Spotify, um, Podbean, I mean, I also am on uh, SoundCloud. I don't even react like SoundCloud that, but okay, CastBox as well. I think I already said that. So yeah, you can pretty much find me on a lot of podcasts. And like I said, you can also find all the lists um, right under on my YouTube account. Most of the descriptions have like everywhere I'm at. If you know you just want to listen here or you might say be somewhere else. But anyway. But I ain't in Pandora. Now. Is anybody on Pandora that like got a, um, like a um, a podcast, whatever? And I'm also on TuneIn Radio. Yeah, TuneIn Radio as well. Okay. Now, I actually this is my second time doing the, you know, doing the um my um podcast. I did one about twenty minutes, and sometimes that happens where you know i used to do that even recording and you know seeing other youtubers do but you know like sometimes we may have a video and you start to record it and you're like okay we gotta do another take or something happens or you may get like i do you know what i wasn't feeling that oh uh, i just want to actually restart it over because i wanted to ask i don't know why i'm yawning it's only 11 58 p.m at night i know it's almost midnight but uh like I said, my H sometimes makes me extra sleepy. And, you know, I just wanted to rant about it is snowing. It's going to be like three to five inches. They got a damn winter advisory. And tomorrow is Veterans Day. Shout out to Luke. Then we're going to do the military. So shout out to Luke. To y'all day. That's about to happen, well, you know, well, you know, uh, in about two more minutes start. But I also want to point out this. On November 11th. 11, 11, angel number, um, 2019, we're having with snow, like I said, I told you, there was a little drizzle, it was a little, you know, a little tease, um, last week or something, or whatever, right, but literally, when I go to the weather app that's, you know, like, you know, for this area, Metro Detroit, Detroit area, whatever, they got winter advisory, started 4 a.m. tonight, this morning, rather, uh, well, when two more minutes will be this morning, but you know what I mean, tomorrow morning, technically, we got one more minute, then I can start saying t- today. Uh, but, uh, and it's till 7 p.m. tomorrow. Even though it's 3 to 5 inches, North Whitford, I was like, no. <laughs> I know climate control, everything, and climate change is completely jacked up. And I know we, like I said, we had that polar vote, vote text, you know, whatever, slash people, you know, getting ro- harassed and robbed the subway in the middle of that. Okay, I digress. Um, but y'all, the fact is, I'm sitting here like, really? Like, we got to deal with this snow tomorrow. I'm glad, at least on this part, this right now, I'm not driving. I don't, I, I used to think snow, probably like a lot of little kids think it's cute until you start driving in it. And like, no. <laughs> the only time snow I can say might be a little cute, like real snow is, if it's not on the streets on the sidewalks, on porches or anything, just like a little, we had like last time, just a little, and it ain't on the cars, we gotta like, you know, take it off and stuff, (sighs) so anyways, y'all, I was just like, this is only just thanks, this is not even Thanksgiving, we're dealing with snow, what is it gonna be like, I mean, I know the weather was saying like the possibility that we may have more snow this upcoming winter than usual, because we didn't really have it last, you know, this year, or this this past winter, whatever, basically, you know, we had 
a bunch of crazy stuff, but it wasn't all like because we had 10 and 5, 15 inches of snow. Some of it had to do with the fact, okay, there's hail coming down, there's frozen rain, there's, you know, the fact that it's too cold for anything to be outside. Shoot, turn there, okay? Anyone or anything. <laughs> Except, you know, some Arctic animals. So, um, other than that, um, I, I'm just like still in shock because I wasn't expecting, okay, I expect even some snow, whatever, even if it was going to come next month. But I'm like, I know time is going fast, but I'm like, I really got to get the winter boots. I mean, I got winter boots upstairs anyway and stuff like that, but I was like, I got to put it on. I started wearing my winter coat already. I was not playing. It's barely been 30, 40 degrees for the past couple of weeks, y'all. That's why people, if they up there trick-or-treating stuff, you know, you got to be careful nowadays, y'all. I mean, I was just going to serious know how we've been hearing more. If y'all up on Instagram pages news, how you've been hearing more about this human, this sick-ass stuff. Uh, but it's a reality is people have to be more careful. People in general, you know, in general. Because you have this human trafficking, child trafficking high, they had to catch people, so stuff like that, just the stuff going on now that it's just messed up. But like I said, for the people who still trick or treat, and they do trick or treat, I guess, in their neighborhoods, I don't, you know, if they were up here, certain areas, how cold it is. Ooh. Y'all, so. I'm, I'm just sitting here like, I'm, it just, it just can't be real. It's this is extreme. In the weather change, I mean, my body sometimes does this anyway. So with the HS, the hydronitis, I never get the last name right. I, sh- I, sh- I, I mean, I've been knew what my illness was, but I always say HS or hydronitis, the first name, because otherwise, Super Vita, I can never pronounce. I need to Google that again. That's, that is a shame, but I usually say HS sometimes. And so I'm one of those people that sometimes it does drain me. And I'm not like saying, oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm, I'm that weak. But the weather change back and forth, y'all, sometimes, whether it's too cold or too hot or in between seasons or that stuff, just like I have sometimes more flare-ups that come. They come anyway, but sometimes they come when they're changing in seasons. And so, y'all, so I'm at that point now. Of course, I have a few flare-ups, I ain't gonna lie. But I'm also, like, a little bit drained. Because now I'm gotta get my body, my immune system, gotta get used to some snow, which you know barely got used to all that this crazy weather that we had beginning of the year. Now I got used to get snow in November, and used to temperatures like I said, they barely don't want it. My body don't barely want it just as it is sometimes. Let alone we got Christmas slash winter weather. It's still fall. It don't get to be no damn winter. Or uh, soulless, whatever they call it, winter souls, whatever, um, until like December the 20, 20 seconds, whatever. Oh, goodness. But we have to get used to the fact that there's a lot of drastic changes to the weather. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm actually happy, even though the last se- several semesters has been more so. I was, you know, out of class, but when I did the internship, I still had to go somewhere, and then, like, last year, I had to work in a group, so at times, even though most of the time it was, like, do email communications and stuff, we still had to meet up a couple times, you know, on campus, you know, uh, so I had to drive up there, um, not like it's far, far, but I was just saying is, is that I'm not missing, you know, the other class online. I'm not missing school. <laughs> I'm starting to like get and getting adjusted to like, you know what? This ain't bad, actually. <laughs> like, I'm good. So, other than that, y'all, about the snow, I, I, I'm just like shaking my head because also they said January. If we do have polar bogus, I probably already said it again. So, there's a chance it could be more snow. It could be another polar bowl text possibly coming again. Just, to, you know, it might be a little bit mild. As sim- That's what I'm saying. <sighs> that means I got to get, you know, start wearing my hats, too. I don't play that. Once it's under 40, 30 degrees, or it's in that, under that, like the 40-something under that. No. Mm-mm. <sighs> and, you know, I've been in Michigan, you know, 
you know, Michigan, like, all my, besides occasionally, which I haven't been, I ain't gonna lie, in, uh, but how many, how many years ago? I'm not gonna lie, y'all, last time I think I went out, like, outside of Michigan was, like, 10 years ago, exactly, to, uh, um, no, Arkansas, to go to the, uh, Miracle, uh, Spring Waters, but other than that, I have not been, I, I keep it real, y'all, Wait, sometimes my body feels up. I have not been, I've been rejecting like I'm good when I go on trips and stuff. I have not been, you know, out since then as far as out of state or anything. I just been here. But I'm just saying is as far as me being Michigan, like living here all my life. Now, I haven't like went back and forth or anything like that. Uh, my body has not gotten used to being in Michigan, you know. And I think because of the wishy-washy weather, and in other states and other areas, you know how it's been wishy-washy, like I said, due to such things as climate and all that other stuff. Um, it, it's just been, like, an adjustment, but uh, whatever. We deal with it as it goes, but I just wanted to say, y'all. Also, another thing, besides some snow, that's a shocker. I decided to go ahead and just change my mind about doing the ambitions reviews, and the only reason why, y'all, I wanted not to do them is only because since it's mid-season and there's only, like, five or six episodes left, I'm like, it don't make no sense to me finish reviewing. I mean, it's up to me, you know, if I want to even just do one review and and do that if I wanted to, because it is my, ch- you know, channel. But personally, I'm like, I'll just, if I feel like it, watch the season, see if I like it or not, and then if it's meant for me, I'll, and you know, whatever with the new season. Because, you know, like I said, it still says season one. I review it. I should have, y'all, I found out because I watched a shout out uh, to Keisha Irvin slash Color Me Pink's channel. And she has Instagram lives on Learning to Love. And I, you know, when just watching the one episode and I was able to watch like, because Jay, uh, Jay Lee... It's corner, she reviews it, and she sometimes have clips of pictures, so that helped it out as well. And so does Bonnie Blue as well. They both uh, reviewed that show. Now the season, I don't know if they did it last season. I don't recall. So, um, but it's helped me realize, like, hey, this show actually, I, I you know, I wish I would have got a chance, but hey, it wasn't meant to happen because I was thinking about reviewing that show too, and then I changed my mind. So, other than that. I was going to do ambitions, but I'm just going to try to use this week. I would say I'm going to try my best to go ahead and try to, like, catch up, like I said, with the 90 days. I'm just letting y'all know now, even though this is supposed to be for Monday, 11-11, that I probably may, may not do the Real Housewife Lair reviews. Of course, like I said, it's already late because it's already past me. Not say late, late, but, you know, it may be uploaded today. It may not, but... My goal is to at least have it this week, just like with the 90 days. Try to have done this weekend. You know, y'all get love at the locker when y'all get love at the locker. <laughs> I think, what? They're not even saying when the episode ends. They probably might eventually have it because when they had the spinoff, y'all, if y'all watched the show, you know, of some, you know, the first two seasons of some of the favorite cast members, they had it originally in December. So, I don't know, or December, or like January, I forgot what it was, but they, you know, I think they had, I I don't know, I forgot when I had it, but no, it was in like June or something. I don't know where I got missed, because I think they had like, had some show that started. But anyways, y'all, um, so, I don't, they're not saying like, when does it end, and it's still season, it's like episode 37 of season 2, but it should be, it should have been broken out to season 3, but like I said, it's just like it's dragging on anyway. And like I said, I know that's like during or what about nine to ten more. I don't know how many episodes because I only did twenty seven or twenty eight, but I just haven't uploaded yet to my YouTube channel. And so it's still just sitting there, y'all. I was going to originally like catch up, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a break. <laughs> and my break is still extended. So and I'm just listening, watch my you like um sad scales. I just watch her review, and it's just like every time watching these people's reviews. About the show, I, I ain't gonna lie, and I have watched a couple of the, uh, recent episodes, it makes me not want to rush to review it, even though I want to, like, stick with it, because like I said, I'm trying to stay more consistent, and not, like, start a show and drop it, even though it's bad what it is. Like I said, Compton, I don't regret stop uh, reviewing that show, and 90 Days, even though it was a good season, it's like, okay, they, I'm like I said, I got one I can catch up with now. And 
you know, and start from there. Other than that, y'all, I didn't have that too much. Of course, if I show up by face, I want to make sure at least pre-record this. So even though I'm kind of doing a little do-over again, you know, I at least feel good enough where I'm like, well, at least I'll have it, my video done, so I won't be late, because... Like I said, a little murky retrograde tease where I almost, you know, like I said, it ain't like I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't mix, uh, uh, make that, make the day or whatever, or even if it was more than one day's, um, cause life happens always. I just really want to, you know, I'm going to roll. This is like day 35 or day 34. You know, let me do a little clap again. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about, now I know Beautiful Show, how the Beautiful Show speaks, because she also has a podcast as well. Sometimes, I've seen a few people do it, where also Marcus Williams done that too, when he used to do Greenleaf. I don't know which other show he's going to recap or anything. Uh, but, there's some people who won't use their face. Now, some of them do some good editing, where they're like standstills, like they're... You know, like, uh, Marcus Dark and Jay Moore reviews, you know, they'll do, like, reviews where they don't show their face, but they're showing, you know, like, scene screenshots of the show that they're reviewing. And you have some people who don't show their faces sometimes. So, Beautiful Souls be sometimes uses her podcast to review, you know, certain shows. I think, like, you know, I think she just did the recap. Check that out of the season premiere of, you know, Real Housewife of Atlanta. So part of me has been thinking about, should I do that sometimes if I don't feel like showing my face and going ahead and recapping reviewing in a podcast form? You know, I don't know. I also thought about this too. I already do enough videos, like do podcasts and, you know, in several more, I'm going to be doing the podcast. So I don't know. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll probably just show my face, whatever for that but that's just a good you know option another option say you know you don't want to show your face sometimes you know you have the option where you can have a podcast and choose one and do it that way and just upload to youtube and stuff and have the option where people want to listen to the stories remember y'all they used to have it where you know if y'all heard about radio stations back in the day where they have like you know whole productions and stuff and people are listening to the story so that's kind of like technically what wouldn't that be like an audiobook Maybe listen like to adventures and stuff, and there'll be like a story or something, and they reenacting. You just listen to the voice and the sound effects of the stories, and you hear people talking or whatever. So it could be, you know, said like I said, you know, with the audio books, you listening to the story, you know, right? So who knows? Like I said, I need to get back on um, the books, like y'all. But just like the podcast, y'all, I'm really starting. I'm really loving the audio books. I probably said that before. Um. The ebooks are okay, but I wish I preferred to like have the, you know, I I don't have a tablet at the moment. Now, once I get a tablet back again, then yeah, because I mean I could read the books, you know, on my laptop, um, but I'd rather have like you know a tablet where it's big enough where I can you know see, go to this page. I used to sometimes read books to my phone, you know, but I rather have like either the physical copy or at least a tablet that's big enough where I could just like look at the pages so like I said I I do like where you can sometimes have the option to listen to audiobooks so like I said I'm going to you know I honestly ain't gonna lie a lot of times books you know like especially like I said I kind of at the moment I still like you know get them from the library you know digital wise and get books that auto books that way okay you know I try, I do be wishing, hope, luck, sometimes be questioning. And sometimes there's a miracle that go through, be able to request, you know, like, recommend a book. And sometimes the library does get it. Or like I said, the student program where you have to log in, you know, your library card number and your PIN number with Hoopla. Like I said, they, you know, usually nine times ten, find your library correspondence. So that's another program. Because sometimes I can find books of Hoopla that I can't find at my regular through my regular library and ta da y'all you can instantly um check out the book right then and there it's not a rating thing you're able to find what you want I think they got a music book and even some movies and stuff 
And uh, after the choice, say like 20 days, you could just rerun it again. It's not a thing, and it's still being the system. And it'll pick up exactly where you left off, save you didn't finish it. So that's a good option. So sometimes I'll use Hoopla and both, say, like Overdrive or the Detroit Library. You know. But anyway, y'all, let me get off here. I dare to finish the same exact time, y'all, of the one I was originally going to use. And I just, like I said, I wanted to talk again about, like, having to be shocked of this darn winter snow. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Who came up with that so y'all, with let it snow? I, I'm good with that. You know, I just want fake snow, you know, like, ones that don't hit the roads and stuff. I'm, mm-mm. I was like, I, I, like I said, I know I've lived here majority, you know, all my life. No, I lived here, not majority, all my life I've been up here. And I still don't like the snow like that. Like I said, good for y'all people who love driving the snow and all that stuff and jet skis and all. Uh, not jet skis. What's that other thing that was like, you know, like a, it seemed like a jet ski, but it's like used for the winter. Y'all little snowmobiles and all that stuff. I think that's what it's called and all that stuff, sleighs and everything else. <laughs> Whatever. So... I got to get used to winter in the middle of fall. And we really didn't have some, we didn't really have like, I mean, it was some hot days, but it wasn't, you know, we didn't, we, they had winter this year, lasted up to April. We had a couple of hot days. Like I said, it's been really wishy-washy, y'all. So we got to get used to that. But again, y'all, is y'all getting ready, you know, to watch these, like these Christmas movies supposed to premiere like on, I think they're supposed to have some movies that start like November the 18th, like have one once a week. I think not Lifetime, I heard, you know, I don't watch not Lifetime like that, I haven't watched that like in years, but they're supposed to possibly have a, you know, Christmas movie supposed to start too. I remember y'all, like I said before, and I'll keep saying it again, about December, they used to have, I think they still have, didn't they choose ABC Family Change the name to Freeform? But they used to have since, like, years ago, where it used to be the 25 Days of Christmas, and have, like, you know, Rue Ross Red Rose River, or some cartoon, or, you know, something kiddish, at least, or some, you know, something, you know, Christmas-related, and they have it for, I think, I think past that, too, because I think they've had the New Year Baby, whatever, one, too. With the big ears, and uh, <laughs> but now, they, like I said, they ain't playing with us. They used to at least wait until Thanksgiving. Like I said, we even seen Christmas stuff before Halloween. And men ain't gonna be back to school and uh, uh, holiday stuff. But anyway, y'all, excuse me. I hate when you yawn and you're not really like sleepy. But let me get off here, y'all. Hugs and loves. Like I said, salute to anybody ser- served the mil- you know, served in the military or serving in the military. Y'all, it's y'all day because it's 12, 8, 12, 18 a.m. And, a- a.m. now. Um, so I'm about to get off of here. So I will see y'all in the next hugs and loves. And I'll see y'all for what, day 35, day 36. And, you know, like I said, eventually I'll show my face again, you know. I might be consistent, at least do that once a week and maybe do that a little bit more. But anyway, hugs and loves. Take care, y'all. God bless.